Hi, my name is Kathy Davidson and I'm here at Dartmouth College as part of the strategic planning initiative that the college is undergoing right now. And two questions keep coming up and I'm happy to talk about both of them. One, blogs. Two, distraction. Um, recently I've been talking about why in my classes I like to teach blogs instead of the traditional term paper. Well, first of all, that's kind of a false binary because you can write a traditional term paper on a blog. What's different about a blog is you can write in any form, but you have an audience. In my classes, sometimes the audience is other students in the class, but I also have my students write what I call public contributions to knowledge. I want them to realize that their words matter and their words can make a difference. Sometimes it's a Wikipedia entry, sometimes it's a comment on a New York Times article, sometimes it's an intervention in some other discussion that's going on. I think we all have a responsibility to elevate discourse, and where better to teach that than in a, in a writing class? The second question people keep asking is, is my idea about distraction. Um, we have something that I will call the myth of monotasking. Actually, the brain doesn't know how to monotask, even in the most uninterrupted moments, such as when you're meditating. Um, your brain is constantly making neural connections. Your brain is constantly thinking about other things. In fact, if you're in a quiet room with no interruptions whatsoever, typically your brain goes crazy. Uh, there's a whole Eastern tradition of philosophy that, that knows this. And in fact, there'd be a lot more Buddhists if it were easy to really, truly be able to cleanse and open the mind and only think about one thing, which is mindfulness and being. On the other hand, in our work life, we're constantly bombarded with distraction, but all that means is we're aware of things that are new. Um, we're bombarded all the times with things that aren't new, and we're just used to that. We deal with that. Sometimes it's looking out a window, sometimes it's getting up and walking to the other side of the room. We, we deal with our own mind's distractions in lots of ways. Recently, we've come to blame technology for distractions, and that just means we're aware of the new inputs of technology in our life. I say distraction is our friend. Because if suddenly we're aware of something, it means our mind wants us to pay attention in a different way. To think about what we're doing that isn't serving us, to think about better ways that we can pay attention, and even to think about the different tools or the different partners we could have that would help to control our workflow and create our workflow in different and innovative ways. Thank you.